My name is Lindsay and I'm a pediatric nurse. Each year I experience observing an increase in social media use and a decrease in literacy and communication skills among adolescents. So for this reason, I decided to do my research on the negative impact that social media has on literacy development. My first point is that social media limits exposure to traditional literacy skills. So most all social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, they all limit the word count and the content of their post, meaning you can only have a certain amount of characters for the captions or description of the content, and the content is usually limited to photos or videos. Uh, most of these platforms, because of this, completely eliminate the need for writing. With the lack of limited space to write, adolescents are missing out practicing skills to create writing using correct sentence form, structure, and punctuation. Another point where literacy development is lacking is the acceptable use of shorthand writing on social media. So an example would be like LOL, the ad symbol, abbreviations for things. This is all limiting adolescents' ability to elaborate and deliver their ideas in complete form, and it's creating an acceptable space for this to happen. Also, um, any kind of internet or social media platform has spell check or suggested word features, which gives, adoles gives adolescents the opportunity to dismiss applying any real effort into learning to apply knowledge to correct sentence structure and spelling. And then additionally, with the excess hours spent on the phone, this creates less time for adolescents to spend on homework or any kind of like traditional literacy form of practice. My next point is that social media use causes users to experience a lack, a lack of intellectual stimulation. So social media provides very short videos or still frame photos to aimlessly scroll through. Because this is just done mindlessly, this causes the brain to lack being stimulated in any way that can increase intellectual development. Studies have shown that extended use of this can train your brain to focus on shorter segments, which could attribute to the overall decreased attention span among Americans. So in a recent study, I think in 13 years, the average attention span of Americans went from 12 seconds to 8 seconds, which apparently is only one second less than the attention span of a goldfish, which is highly concerning. Um, social media and internet use also give users access to scan large amounts, almost endless amounts of information within seconds. So literally, I can pick up my phone and say, translate, translate to speak to Spanish. In Spanish, to speak is para hablar. And then I immediately have an answer. Versus having to open up a book, scan, find the information I'm looking for, find where the information is. Having internet and social media gives users access to basically, again, unlimited information in almost a fraction of the time as looking up or using a form of traditional literacy. Um, also, social media platforms most of the time lack any kind of intense writing content. Again, this is because of the restrictions on um, word count and content information. So the vid video and photo based content, in addition to the limit limited character count that platforms provide, do not require any kind of intense intellectual focus or stimulation. My last point is that social media use is causing a decline in social skills among adolescents. So an article that was published by Liberty Classical Academy touches on the topic of a decrease in social skills and it focuses on a lot of different aspects individually of communication such as how social media is leading to a decline in conversation skills, attention to details, and awareness 
and also a lack of eye contact. They also touched base on the fact that um, eye contact is essential for emotional connection between humans. Therefore, social media can give people the chance to create artificial relationships and a sense of false reality. Then users can pick and also pick and choose which content or aspects they decide to share. So even then, the content can be so edited that it's not actually comparable to reality. This can lead to a false sense of identity or can lead to, you know, different things like bullying. All of these create a lack of emotional connection between humans. And then the quick paced information and short requirement of attention is weakening writing, listening, and speaking skills. If this trend continues, then adolescents or those who use social media excessively are at a high risk to completely lose the ability to obtain skills essential for function, functional communication and literacy. It's important that adolescents become aware of these issues and make a conscious effort to practice skills which will create strong communication and literacy, literacy skills.